everybody, my name is Edogram, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Where do we go? to the Institute with the Agitator. Hostile sensor reading detected. 
That was easy. <laughs> Just throw a bunch of grenades and let them take care of everything. <laughs> Dr. Fillmore. I think that was enough excitement for a well. Ever. Thank you, really. Couldn't have managed it without you. I'll make sure the agitator gets where it needs to go. I understand Father is anxious to get you involved in something else. You'd better not keep him waiting. J522 around. He didn't show up for duty today, and I can't seem to find him. Did you check robotics? He was probably scheduled for routine maintenance. I wouldn't worry about it. I thought so too, but he wasn't in the log, and everyone I've asked hasn't seen him. He's never just missed a shift like that. What are you saying? I'm worried something might have happened to him. No one knows where he is. It's like he just disappeared. It doesn't feel right. Shh. Keep your voice down. You know what happens if they hear you talking like this? They'll wipe you. I suggest you keep this to yourself. But what if something's wrong? Look around. Corsair patrols have doubled. Sense are being wiped more frequently. Something is going on. I don't want to hear anymore. Do whatever you want. Just leave me out of it. I guess they're both sense. Extra rest? Are there many more of these questions? Okay. Yes. That Hello, Father. I hope your time in the Institute has been enjoyable. You wanted to see me? I understand mass fusion was a success, despite interference from the Brotherhood of Steel. We handled them just fine. That's what Dr. Fillmore reported. I'm quite pleased at the results. It would have been a terrible setback to lose that technology to those savages. The Brotherhood's intervention must be placed in a larger context, however, given their penchant for hoarding technology. Future conflict with them is guaranteed. We are, after all, keepers of the most advanced technology in the Commonwealth, if not beyond. It also cannot go unnoticed that there were concerns within the Institute about your allegiances. I, of course, never doubted your commitment to our cause. But by directly confronting the Brotherhood, I think you've put some others at ease. I'm proud of you. Regardless, the Brotherhood is an issue for the future. And we must focus on the present. And look at me. Rambling on like the old man I am. I'm wasting time. You're needed elsewhere at once.
Do you need more parts for the reactor? I could have gotten them while I was out. No, this is a different matter. Hopefully one that does not put anyone at risk. This situation, I'm afraid, is something of your creation, however unintentional. If I've done something to jeopardize the Institute, I'll fix it. You have my word. I have no doubt that you will. But it's nothing quite so dire. While you were assisting Dr. Fillmore, a second team was sent out to... invite someone from the Commonwealth to join the Institute. Apparently, there was some miscommunication, and this individual called for help, which arrived in the form of your minute. My understanding is that no shots have been fired. I would like it to stay that way. I need you to go there and speak to your Minutemen gathered outside. Insist that they stand down at once. Dr. Thompson is on site, and he will be your primary contact. I know you can resolve this situation, but it is of paramount importance that this special individual be brought to the Institute immediately. They'll listen to me. I'll figure something out. You can consider this handled. Believe me, I already do. Every single time. 